Let's bring in former New York City Police Commissioner Howard Safer. I have to say, sir, I was quite dismayed because I really I have high hopes for Eric Adams, the new mayor. Uh, but we have seen what's happened in other cities all across the country who have the policies that Bragg just released in this memo. For example, armed robbers with de deadly weapons that stick up stores, they would only be prosecuted for petty larceny. And also this other one I'll just mention, that convicted criminals caught with weapons other than guns will have those charges downgraded to misdemeanors. What is happening here, sir? It's one of the dumbest things I've ever seen. Uh, I was optimistic as well that uh, Mayor Adams and new Commissioner Sewell uh, would be able to get guns and drugs off the street. What this district attorney has done, he has given a roadmap to crime and a message to criminals that mm -hmm. you can do whatever you want and you're not going to go to jail. You're not going to be charged with a felony. And the citizens of the city are going to be the victims. Uh, New York City used to be the safest large city in America. It's not now. And it's going to get much worse under this guy. Commissioner, I wonder how this affects police officers, because when a DA comes out and says that he will only, you know, he will only prosecute you, put you in jail if you commit a murder and a few other things, that has to affect the way police officers do their job, knowing that most people are going to get a free pass. Well, that's what happened during the de Blasio administration, because the police were not backed. And why should you go out and arrest somebody, put yourself in danger, uh, get a gun off the street or seize drugs, and knowing that that person is going to be right back out on the street to do that or worse? Uh, many, many of these people who were released during de Blasio committed the same crime, including murder. This is absolutely the worst thing that could happen. You know, my advice to the people of the city of New York is start a recall election right now. If you look at um, Call 47, everyone here, um, the surge in Democratic-run cities of crime from 2021 versus 2020, it's up in Chicago, L.A., of course, here in New York City, San Francisco, Minneapolis. And that will continue unless, as you say, there is some sort of a change here. Um, but one thing that's interesting is, so Bragg ran for D.A., in which to prosecute cases, but what he's trying to do mm -hmm. is actually change the law. He doesn't want to enforce the law that's on the books. So, you know, if he wants to run for office, maybe he should have run for state assembly. Absolutely. You know, he was elected to prosecute crimes, not to change the law. And what he's doing here is changing the law and enabling criminals to do outrageous things. This is stupid. Yeah, and Commissioner Neal, it's not just New York, because we talk about the entire country, these far-left prosecutors. You know, in California, you have George Gascon, you have, you know, Chase Boudin doing this. And in California, people don't even report property theft or burglary. They don't even report them to police. And then you have the media coming out saying, see, property theft and burglary are way down. It's just, it's this kind of constant feeding <coughs> of the narrative. Yeah, what it's doing, it's welcoming smash and grab crimes to New York. We're going to see the same kind of thing that happened in L.A. and San Francisco. And by the way, Gaston is currently fighting a recall election because the citizens of San Francisco have just gotten outraged. This is one of the worst things that could possibly happen. You know, the D.A. is one third of the criminal justice system. And if he doesn't do the right thing... Cops are going to just stop making arrests. You know, they go back to what they were called under the Deacon's mm -hmm. administration, blue flower pots. We'll see if Mayor Eric Adams says anything else as this unfolds this morning. It's a depressing memo. Uh, great to have your expertise, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Good to be with you. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.